Hello guys, it's Jeff here again with another weekly blog video for you guys on Bell's Policy. Um, as you can see, this stuff hasn't gotten any better. It's only getting worse now. It's still pretty much the same thing with my my eyebrow. Like My eyebrow doesn't move whatsoever now. In the last video, it kind of moved a little bit, but now it doesn't move nothing. Like Nothing moves at all. Uh, the only thing I find that's pretty cool about it is that I can like just move the eyebrow around like Dwayne Johnson the rock like he does it just for the show and it, I don't even try to do it and it just does it with whether people are joking if I see something that's surprising and I have to like <gasps> only one eyebrow moves but uh now this video where I blink, my left eye kind of rolls up when I try to blink. It's not just trying to close my eye over, I'm not even trying to move my eye up either. And it just rolls up on me. But uh, my, my speech kind of getting a little bit worse. It's kind of hard to pronounce my P's, my F's, my B's. It's like I'm trying to start all over again, trying to learn the alphabet, but just real I know my alphabet, it's just hard to pronounce some of the letters. Um What else is there? My smile is still the same. That doesn't change one bit. Um What else could there be? Oh my nose when I squinted, like the left side doesn't move. It's nothing, nothing I can do. But a lot of people are keeping me supported. No, they're they're really keeping me really happy with it. Like everyone just support me like crazy. It's it's unbelievable. Like people add me on Facebook from YouTube. People that I don't even know because they they're there to support me, even though they don't know who I am. It's just to show that this stuff's not fake. It's real stuff. And it's just probably scary for a lot of other people because they didn't know this stuff could happen. I didn't know it existed either until I woke up with it. But everyone knows now. Well, anyone who's watching the videos or people who have been talking about it and other people hear them, the stuff is real. It's not fake one bit. And it's kind of impossible for someone to blink and just one eye and let the other eye roll up or move their eyebrow while the other one does move not even a hairline uh... yeah it's, it's just crazy but like I said people are adding me, subscribe to me on YouTube just random people they just they just have support and they feel for you but I don't know it just sucks it sucks waking up every day to it Sucks trying to go to sleep at night, try to tape my eye over so I don't go blind. Uh, still waking up with quite a bit of headaches. But the headaches are kind of slowly going away. I still have kinks in the back side of my neck. But, like I said in the last video, there's nothing anyone can do about it but to keep me positive and just be patient. Yeah, it's just crazy. I, c I couldn't thank anyone else again for just supporting me like crazy, trying to keep me positive. It's, it's pretty much the only thing that's getting me through this. Like, you guys, my family, my girlfriend, of course. Like, she wakes up to me every morning and has to deal with it just as much as I do. But we're moving back to Montreal, Quebec. It's about 14, 15 hours from where I'm from, Cape Breton, Nova Scotia. I'm currently in Alberta right now, but we will be driving back to Montreal within a week, week, week and a half maybe, hopefully. So it's just good that I'll be able, I'll be able to have all my family and friends around me to support me as well because I'm on the other side of Canada right now and I have just my brother on this side of Canada that's my blood family. But I'll I'll survive through it. And I just really can't wait to see my family when I get home, see all my friends, because 
they just make me smile every single time I've seen them, and it's been almost a year and a half, maybe a little bit more since I've seen my family. And, yeah, I just, it's just going to be crazy when I see them, and, yeah, it's, it's, it's going to be nuts just to see them, and they're going to see me dealing with this. But everyone already knows just by watching this video what it's like, so they can't be too shocked when they see me in person. But I will be posting another video. This is my second one so far, and I will have a God knows how many more videos because I don't even know how long I'm going to have this for. The doctor still doesn't even know how long I will have this for. Uh, I could have this for two years. God knows how long it will last for, but just gotta be patient, that's all. And like I said, I will be posting a couple more videos throughout this month. I might take a couple of videos while we're on the trip back to Montreal. And just to show you guys that I'm not I'm not like being so much stressed about it every day. I'm just trying to do my everyday life I can right now, but I can't work because I can't even blink in my eye. It makes my eye dry and itchy too much. I lose vision a little bit in my eye because it gets so watery and it's constantly watery and my speech my speech is it, it just gets crazy when I try to pronounce a bunch of letters that I can't use in a word and yeah it's it, it's just it's ridiculous to wake up like this but like I said again there's nothing I can do I wish God could help me. I, I pray every night to to wake up and just feel better again and not have to do this. Have to deal with all this stuff. But I will be posting a lot more videos for you. I'll try my best to take a nice video for you guys when I'm on my road trip home with my girlfriend. And, yeah, thank you very much for watching this video. And I thank you again for all the support. I really, really appreciate it. It's the only thing that's getting me through this. Thank you, guys.